Hello, welcome to this class. Last few weeks we started learning about two dimensional shapes. We have looked at the meaning of two dimensional shape. We said that a two dimensional shape is a shape drawn on a flat surface, so it's a flat shape. Meaning that another name for two dimensional shape is plane shapes. Which we now look at um, the sum of the shapes that are two dimensional shapes, like the triangle, rectangle, um, the, the square, pentagon, hexagon, rhombus, parallelogram, um, trapezoid, and so on and so forth. Then, after that, we looked at the different uh, properties of some of these two dimensional shapes and we learned about how to calculate areas and perimeters of these two dimensional shapes. Today we are rounding up on two dimensional shape with learning the concepts of vertex, congruent and symmetry. Now these are three interesting um, concepts. This is basically a name of a part in a shape, while congruency is talking about shape comparison, while symmetry talks about shape division. Now let's start with vertex. A vertex is simply a point where two sides in a shape meet. A vertex is a meeting point. Alright? So suppose this is a shape this is a this is triangle. So let me draw this better. So if this is a triangle, if this is a triangle, you notice that this is a side of this triangle. This is side of this triangle. And this is the third side of the triangle. Now, each of these sides met at a point. This side and this side met at this point. This side and this side met at this point. This side and this side met at this point. Now, the point at which two sides meet is called the vertex of the shape. So this is vertex. The point which two sides of a shape meet is called the vertex. So if this is a rectangle, the point at which these sides meet is known as the vertex of the shape. So we can simply say that we can simply say that a vertex can simply say that a vertex a vertex which can still be called vertex. This is the plural form. A vertex vertex is the plural form why this is the same word. So a vertex is a point is a point where where two sides a point where two sides meet. Okay? So the point where two sides meet is called a vertex. And that's it about it. So you can now see questions like okay, let's look at this question. Example, it says how many vertex are in the figure? Figures below. How many vertex are in the figures below? Let's say here we have this is a rectangle. 
tango, let's say here we have this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a hexagon. Now our question is how many vertices? Vertices are in each of these figures. So how many vertices are there? Let's count it. One, two, three, four. Right? So you can now say that there are four in number. So the vertices are four. Let's count how many vertices are here. Remember the little points. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see it. So there are six vertices in this shape. So this is simply what we talk about when we are talking about the concept of vertices. All right. Now let's go over to the next concept, which is congruent. Okay. Now remember, two shapes are said to be congruent if the shapes are equal in size and they have the same shape. If they are equal in size and they have the same shape, we say that the shapes are equal. If they are same shape and same size. That is when we say that the shapes are congruent. Okay? Alright? So, here, let me call this A concept A. Call this concept B. Okay. We are talking about congruent. Congruent. So this means so congruence means that it means same shape and same size. This means same shape, same shape and same size. So when a shape is, when two shapes, two same shapes have equal sides, we can say that these shapes are congruent. For example, if I have this shape, this is a triangle. This is a triangle. This is a triangle. Now, if these triangles, the whole sides are equal, and here the whole sides are equal. Looking at this, the two shapes are the same shape, triangle, right? Yes. And the information on the shape says that all the sides of this shape are equal. Now, we can now say that the two shapes are Congruent. The shape. The shapes are congruent. Congruent shapes. I see it. They are congruent because they are the same shape and they have the same size. All right. Now, if I have this shape, let's say I have this. This is a rectangle. And they say that here and here are equal. Here and here are equal. Here and here are equal. And I have another rectangle. That says that here is different. Now if you look at these two shapes, you notice that this one is bigger. This one is smaller. And this side, this side and this side is not equal by the number of strokes I made there. 
This side and this side is not equal. This side is not equal to this side. This side is not equal to this side. So I can say that here is two meters. Here is two meters. I can say that here is one meter. Here is one meter. Now I can say that here is three meters. Three meters. Two meters. Two meters. Now you now notice that the sides are not equal. They are the same shape, but their sides are not equal. So we can now say that the shapes, the shapes are not congruent, congruent shapes. Okay, so they are not congruent shapes because they are not equal. They are the same shape, but they are not equal. So congruency says that the shapes must be the same and they must have equal sides. All right, so that is that about congruency. Okay, um, let me quickly talk about symmetry. We've got this C. Symmetry. So lines of symmetry. Lines of symmetry. Now, lines of symmetry are lines that divide a shape into equal parts. A line of a symmetry is a line that divides a shape into equal parts. Parts. Now, a shape can have one line of symmetry, a shape can have more than one line of symmetry. Okay? So, say that these, these are lines, lines that, that divides a shape. Into equal parts. Okay? So a line of symmetry, symmetry divides shape into equal parts. Let's look at this shape. If this is the shape, this is the shape. That line that can come and divide this rectangle into two equal sides is called a line of symmetry. Okay? This line that divides the shape in equal parts is called a line of symmetry. Okay? Good. Now, this is a triangle. If a line runs from here, and this line divides this triangle into equal parts, then we can say that this line is a line of symmetry. It's a line of symmetry. If this is a circle, and there's a line at this part, did this line divide this circle in equal parts? No! Therefore, this line is not a symmetry. Okay? So any line that did not divide the shape in equal parts is not a line of symmetry. So this is the last part of our two-dimensional shapes. We talked about vertex, which we say that vertex is the point where two sides meet. We talked about congruency, 
say that congruence means that the two shapes are equal in size and they are the same shape. Then symmetry is symmetry are lines, or a symmetry is a line that divides anything into equal parts. That's a symmetry. Okay? So this is the last of these two dimensional shape topics. We will now move over to other concepts. So I'll see you in our next class. Bye.